Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 943. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to use conditional formatting to highlight the first three. Now, we could use the duplicate feature. There's an automatic uh, built-in. I can even remember where it is. Highlight, cell, rules, duplicates. But that only gets two. And we really want the first three. And we're going to look at two things. I want one, two. So the first three threads, and then any remaining threads I do not want highlighted. Then we'll see how to let the first three threads sit unhighlighted, but the ones past it become highlighted. All right, we're going to use a formula. We're going to use the count. We're going to use a formula. We're going to use the countif function, but we're going to create a true/false function because the way conditional formatting works is each cell must have a test that comes out true get the formatting, false, not going to get the formatting. So I'm going to use the COUNTIF function with an expandable range. So the range, I'm going to click A4, SHIFT colon, comma, A4, close parentheses. Now right now it seems silly, but if we lock this first one, I'm going to click in that first A4 and hit the F4 key. Now that's locked. This is not, it's an expandable range. And notice the criteria is always going to be one cell to my left. All right, so it gets one there. Two threads there, you could see that blue range expanding. If I double click and send it down, you could see down here, not only is the range expanding, it's doing exactly what we want. So now, in this case, we want a true when it's one, two, or three, but when it gets up to four, we don't want it to be true. So I'm simply going to convert this from a calculating formula that gives us a number result to a logical formula. I'll do that with a comparative operator. I'm going to say any time that number is less than or equal to 3. Now, it's a logical formula. It will deliver only one of two things. Control Enter, double click and send it down. True and false. All right, so now I can copy this formula in edit mode. Control C, because notice that the A4s are in that cell. And as we copy it down, notice it moves to A5, right, in that range. So it's perfect. We built the formula off to the side just to see how it works. Now we can delete this, but we have to highlight this column, Control shift down arrow, with the active cell at the top, because that's where in memory this formula will be stored, up in the conditional formatting dialog box. I'm going to use the keyboard Alt-O-D. New rule. I could do Alt-N. Arrow, 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 tab. Control V for paste. There's our formula. It's in the dialog box, and it will be copied down in memory as if it were in those cells. Format. Uh, you can do whatever formatting you want. I'm just going to do uh, yellow. How about that? Or I always do yellow or blue. I'm going to do that color. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Right, so all the ones that how our account of 1, 2, or 3 are formatted, and the ones above that are not. Now we can come over here and think of the same formula. Actually, watch this. Let's see. Control C, Control V. I should have, uh, I don't want this, I actually want it to start at D. So I'm simply going to change that one little part of the formula, and now you can see it's perfect. Control Enter. Actually, what do we need? We're interested in the ones above 3. So we're going to change the comparative operator to greater than. Double click and send it down. So all of those are false, no formatting. These ones will get some formatting. Same trick, Control C, Escape, Control Shift down arrow, Alt O D, Alt N, arrow, 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 tab, Control V. And then I'll do some different color, lavender or something like that. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And so now we see there are only the ones above 4. And this is dynamic, of course. If I were to change these all to Sue, and then the ones that are count, have a count of 4, 5, 6, or above, will, of course, get the formatting. All right, we'll see you next video.